CSG Actuarial's new client manager can help you spend time on what matters most, and that's your clients. Within Client Manager, you can store client information, create client lists based upon key demographics, and then run multiple quotes at once to review your client's lowest premium options will, of course, save you time and your client's money. There's a couple of different ways in which you can access your Client Manager. So when you sign into the quoting tool, underneath the tool section, you will see Client Manager. So you can click on View Clients. Over on the left hand side here we do have the client manager tab and then if you hover over dashboard there's also client manager so if you are already in a Medicare supplement quote or a different product line and you want to quickly access the client manager without having to go back to the dashboard you can just click on client manager so here's what your client dashboard page looks like. You'll see a couple of initial things here when you sign in. Over on the right hand side, you can import clients, you can add new clients, you can also view a complete list of all of our training guides and watch additional videos. You can search for clients. So in your search results for your clients, it defaults to show 10 clients at a time. If you want to see more clients, you can always adjust that number to see 10, 25, 50, or all of your clients. You can import as many clients as you need into this database so there is no limit for you. And then you can also use your page arrows to go to the next page depending on how many individuals are showing up in your search results and how many clients you're limiting for those different page options. So to easily find a client, there's a couple of different ways in which you can do this. You can use the client search feature. So just by typing in the client's first name, it will automatically find any clients that meet that first name criteria underneath your search results. You can also create segmented lists for the clients as well. So if you wanted to add a filter to see certain clients that have a certain um, age or are located in a state, you can always add a filter. So we have a bunch of different filter options. Um, these are all based upon their demographics. So age, zip code, state, gender, tobacco use, what they are currently on for their med sub plan, whether that's a G, F, N, or even their med sub carrier. You can create different filter lists that way. And then in order to view your different options for your, your clients, you'll click on view options. So the default is we're going to always, of course, show you every client's first name, last name. Um, but from there, you can include a zip code or gender. And that way on the, this, this back page, you're seeing a little bit more information for those different clients. Manager, there are two ways to add new clients or import your client lists or lead lists. So when you sign into your client manager in the upper right hand corner, you can either import clients or you can hit add new. So we're going to first show you how to add a new client. Um, this is the basic information that you will have to fill out for that individual. So I'm going to go through and complete this first name, last name. Um, some of these are optional fields. So the middle name, or the title would something that would be optional. You do have to make sure that you select the gender, the tobacco status, and enter in a proper date of birth. If you do not enter in a proper date of birth or that gender, that tobacco use, you're not going to be able to quickly run quotes from the client manager. So please make sure that you enter that information. Um, the social security number, this is optional. If you have it, you can absolutely enter it in. And then you can add in a phone number and an email address and then an address. Then you can select the state and then the zip code. Now the zip code is also something that is very important. If you do not have a zip code, we will not be able to quickly run a search. So 
the, the, the key things to enter here is the zip code, the gender, the tobacco use, and the date of birth. So please make sure that information is entered. And then we'll just go ahead and hit save. Once we hit save, we will be able to apply any household discounts. So when you are quickly running searches for this individual, do you want that household discount to be applied? Um, so you can check mark that if that would apply to that individual. We'll just make sure that we hit save here. And then for this client, we can click on show current products. So if your client is currently um, enrolled in a Medicare supplement, Advantage, Hospital Indemnity, Dental, Vision, you can enter in the, those carrier details. That way you can compare this individual's current Medicare supplement plan against others in the market if, if you want to um, rewrite this individual. So here we can just enter in the plan name the premium that they are currently on, and then the plan type. And then we'll go ahead and hit save and then just exit out. So from this client profile, um, you can easily run a new search or a new quote for the client. So you'll just hit new quote, and then you have the options of running the, the quote. So I can click on Medicare supplement, and then it automatically takes me to the Medicare supplement page where it automatically populates all of my client's information, his age, gender, tobacco status, and then um, with the effective date, and then we can hit get quote, and then we can see that complete list of available companies um, for this individual. So from there, the complete list of carrier options will appear for this individual and all the premiums. So from here, you can start your normal comparison for this individual. Within a client profile, you can also view their quote history. So based upon the number of quotes you have ran for that individual and the quoted date, it will show those. So if you quickly want to rerun another quote, you can always rerun that and see their quote history. The second way to add clients to your client manager is by importing a file. So if you had a current list of all of your clients or if there was a lead list that you have or that you purchased that you want to easily run quotes for, you can go ahead and select import clients. You can either upload an Excel file or a CSV file. So you can either drag or drop or hit browse to select the file. And then automatically it's going to try to map the, those headers on your file. So you can see in the file that I had, I had the email address, the gender, the state, the zip code, and the phone number. So then I just have to unmap any of the other fields that I had. So I can just drag those different headers to the blue bar. Last name, birth date. And then if there are any fields that I had in my Excel file that are not one of the client properties, um, you can leave that there and then just go ahead and hit map headers and upload. And then it's going to show you a notification that that file has is being uploaded or it has been complete. And then once those individuals have been added, you will see they will start to appear here. So these were a couple of clients that I had on that file. Um, you'll notice here that on my page size, um, I can adjust how many clients I am seeing too. So um, if I add that, I'm seeing some additional clients that I have added. If you need any assistance on uploading a file in our training guide, section, we do have a sample of what those column headers for importing needs to be. So if you click on that and download it, you will see these are your client headers. So if you wanted to make it that your own Excel file, please make sure that your um, horizontal column headers do match. Um, that way it's really easy to import all of your data into the tool. If you ever need to export your client list, you would have to go ahead and select the clients that you want to export. So you can either select all or select a grouping of them. And then if you scroll to the bottom, you will see the export CSV. You can just click on that file and then it will download a document with all of the client information for you. Within Client Manager, you have the ability to run multiple client quotes at one time. This can be 
extremely helpful if you have purchased a lead list and want to run multiple quotes for those individuals, or if you are trying to switch a individual's current plan to get a lower premium, this tool is very helpful in doing that. So in order to run a multi-client quote, you do have to make sure that all of the clients that you are running a quote for have a complete profile. That includes their gender, their state, their zip code, and their tobacco status. That way we can generate a quote result for them. So please make sure that client profile is complete or else it won't be able to run a quote for them. So you'll first have to select the clients that you want to run the quote for. So of course you can filter your service search results if needed, or you can select the clients that you want to run the quote for, or if you wanted to run a quote for all of your clients, you could do so that way as well. So I'm going to go ahead and select the three clients that I want to run a quote for, and then I'll scroll to the bottom here and select bulk quote. From there, we can change our quote parameter. So we can change that effective date and then the date that the client is when we're running the quote. We can select the client's current plan. So within a client profile, you can put in their current MedSup plan. For example, if they're currently on a plan F or a plan G and their current premium, so you can easily compare that against other plans that are available for them. Or you can select a plan type. So I want to run a plan G for all of these clients. From there, you can select the companies that you want to run a quote for. If you wanted to select all of them, how this bulk quote works is it will show you the three lowest premiums. So out of all of the companies that are available, we're going to show you the three lowest premiums. Or if you wanted to select a grouping of companies, even if you select 12 companies, it's still going to show you those results for only the top three. What the My Companies button here does is it defaults to your companies that are in your Medicare supplement settings. So we show you a complete list of companies, but if you just wanted to see your companies that you are appointed with, you can select the My Companies button there. So from there, you can hit Get Quote. So now we can look at the quote results. So as I go through this, you can see the companies that I have selected that are just going to show out of those the three lowest premiums. If you wanted to adjust these, you can certainly start moving those around. So instead of the 12, if you wanted to select all companies, you could do that and then it's going to adjust those three lowest premiums. You'll see your client's demographics over on the right hand side, their current carrier if you have that entered in their profile, and their current in-force rate if that's also included in their profile. So initially I ran a plan G for everybody so I can see the difference in everybody's premiums and who those top three carriers are based upon their demographics and their location. I can easily change the plan type as well. So if I wanted to change this to a G, um, from a G to a F for example, those rates will automatically update for me there. Now, if I wanted to see a complete list of all of the available companies, I can click on view all results. So this will then take me to the quote results page where I will see the complete list of carriers instead of just the ones with the three lowest premiums. So here's the quote results page where it will show you that complete list of all the available companies. And then to return back to the quote results page or bulk quoting, I will just hit this back button to then review all the other clients that I have ran a bulk quote for. Your bulk quote can be exported by clicking on this export results button. And this is what that file would look like. It would export their first name, their last name, their phone, email, um, their age of quoted, their zip code, their gender, see all of those demographics. And then it will show you those companies, so the, their current plan and their current rate, and then the three lowest companies that was quoted for them and that monthly premium. So all of this can also be exported, which can be extremely helpful.